right, in this video, this is going to be a free parallax wallpaper that I call beads. It's like a bunch of beads in the background. So we can swipe the wallpaper and we can also use the gyroscope on our device to get that parallax effect. Now there's a lot of things that we can do with this, but before we do that, I want you to go back and check out this custom help request I did back in July of this year, 2019. The beads wallpaper works fine, but I'm still having issues with one like this, a double helix. Certain images do not show up correctly on my wallpaper. However, I just purchased the Galaxy Note 10 Plus about two weeks ago, and this one still loads up fine. However, I'm still having issues with certain images when I scale them up to fit the screen. They don't display correctly or they don't display at all. I've actually talked to Frank, the developer of all of the custom apps, and I think he is working on a fix to this in a future update. When that happens, I have a lot of things coming in regards to parallax backgrounds. But anyway, on to this quick tutorial here. You can get this beads parallax wallpaper from my free wallpapers folder. And when you load this wallpaper up, it'll be three images with some globals to mess around with. The three images, let's leave those alone for right now. But let's look at the colors down here. We got A color, B color, C color. And then I Googled four colors that go well together. And this is just one random spot. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply this reddish green and blue to the A, B, and C. And then I'm going to use this color here for the background. So for the A color, I'm going to leave the FF there. But then I'm going to do F16A70. The double F here just keeps it opaque. That way it's not transparent. Let's apply that. Notice we have that color applied to the front beads. I'm going to repeat this for B color, which will be the middle layer, and the C color, which will be the back layer and I'm going to use the green and the blue. And with those applied, I'm going to head over to the background now, and I'm going to change this color to match this right here. Of course, we could use a global here as well. Let's save that. And depending on your taste, maybe you like that, maybe you don't. And there are some other ones that you can check out here, or you can just apply whatever colors you want. Maybe you want these to pop a little bit more. So something like that instead. So yeah, throw in the colors in there however you want them. Me personally, I like the grayscale kind of stuff. And all I'm really doing here for each image, if we go into here and we come down here to the filter, we have it set to colorize. And I have those colors linked, the A color, B color, and C color. Now for the animations for each one of these, I have a BG scroll applied and a gyroscope. The BG scroll actually has some globals applied to it, and we can adjust those globals back inside of the globals for the wallpaper. We can also cut the gyroscope on and off, and maybe we want these things to move a little bit faster. And this min speed that you see here, that will be the minimum speed, so these are going to move faster now, and we're going to increment each layer to increase by 50. The back layer is the slowest, those darker circles. This mid-tone right here is going to be the middle speed and the front ones will move the fastest because those are the ones that are closest to us. So the min speed is going to be the back ones and for each layer that we go up, we're increasing it by 50. And I did reload this component up to get the grayscale colors, so I'd have to come back in here and adjust this a little bit more to fit the size of my Note 10 Plus. You may notice there that it did kind of shift colors on us or some of the images went away, but if we save that or actually it just takes a second for it to load up, I'm just gonna save that and apply it to the home screen. And this one works just fine. But maybe that's a little bit too fast. So that's where you can go back and adjust that min speed and the increase. I like something a little more subtle, so I'm knocking it down to 50. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If you load this up and it does not display on your device, please leave a comment with the device that you have, you know, the aspect ratio and all that good stuff. So maybe we can uh, fix the bug that's causing some of the images to not show up. And as always, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.